okay so welcome back in this class we're going to look at how to insert images and shapes in WPS office suite okay so to insert images all you need is to specify the location where you want to insert the image directly as soon I want to insert my image at this point so all I need from the home tab over here I can come to insert and you can see picture over here so you can go ahead and click on this small drop down Okay, this small arrow and you can have to insert from a file but in my own case I always insert my images from a file within my system so you can just navigate to wherever you have that particular text or that particular image that you want to insert assuming I want to insert this how to make images talk which is my latest video previously that I've just posted in my channel you can go ahead and click on open to insert that particular image and you can see it clearly inserted in our WPS office now one thing you should pay attention to is once you insert an image you can see the image tab and the picture tools enabled over here so you have a range of different features to access as regards this particular uh, picture but before we go into deep or into the details about this you have the quick access toolbar that you can access directly uh, from here for example you can change the alignment uh, the layout options of this particular image you can put it in line with the picture just like now the default is it seems in line with the picture and you can wrap it at the top of the picture in a square format or tight within the picture or you can tight it through the picture in case it's through the text or at, uh, above the text in front of the text if you want to move it across so if you are putting it in front of the text it means I can move it across the text and nothing will happen you can see and my text is not going to be displayed and I can still come back here and select in um, tight uh, tight with text and everything is going to be very tight with the text and as I move the text you can see the image also is going to move with it so you can come over here for effective usage you can always put it um, in front of the text so you can move around and specify its locations so for example you can just come over here bring it down and just make sure that the image is positioned here so this is the first thing the quick access toolbar the position the layout option and then you have the preview option picture preview once you click on this it's going to preview the picture how it's going to show in your own document how clear it's going to show you can always view it and you can uh, click out to come out and you can use the crop feature to so crop feature enable you to increase to crop the image across and crop from any angle so once you're done cropping you can just click out and you can see the image is just cropped okay so if you want to take it back the advantage of cropping and deleting is that cropping once you double click and come to crop again you can crop it back to where it started okay so you can see you can now crop it back to any location of your choice so you can undo this and take your image back to where it is okay so you can see as you double click you can convert the text to word or you can picture to pdf you can do all the conversions from here but now let's go in detail into the picture tools that you have access to once you double click on any image that you are working on so the first thing is you have the add picture if you want to add a picture you can just add it directly from another location or you can click here you can add from the different features that we've explained you can replace this particular picture by selecting it coming over here you can replace it with another picture so assuming i have this um, this other picture i can just quickly replace it with it and you will just see with just one click you can see it has replaced you can compress the picture if you don't want the sizing you can do the cropping you can crop with different size over here different kind of shapes you can use different kind of shapes the default is the rectangular cropping but if you want you can do polynomial cropping you can crop across the the lines okay different kind of shapes uh, just like so okay you can just go ahead and give it a try to see how you can crop it in that particular line you can see right now we've cropped in this direction but i don't like it like this but the key thing is you can crop in any angle of your choice and then you can have the picture enlargement you can enlarge it you can play around with the margins you can play around with the sizing okay you can increase the width and the bottom uh, width okay you can lock the aspect ratio for any for further increase or changes you can reset the size if you want you can set transparent color in cases when you want to change the color to transparent you can change the color to automatic to grayscale and with just one click you can see everything is now being changed to grayscale and you can play around with the different kind of um, brightness and uh, contrast features you can just go ahead and uh, increase and decrease the contrast okay 
in cases when you say automatic you can play around with the contrast nature you can increase or decrease the contrast of the image okay accordingly you can see it is changing and you have different kind of bunch of effects that you can uh, play around with from the image like the shadow effect if you want to add the shadow effect you can see it you can add different kind of soft edges 3d edges or the view you can change the view to any of your choice you can go ahead and play around with it you can add some reflections if you want just so that it can uh, appear it all boils down to you you can go ahead and play with it accordingly you can put picture outline if you want to put in the outline you can come down here and insert different kind of outlines and put in different kind of lines accordingly you can reset the picture to where it was or how it started you can rotate different angle 90 degrees uh, to the left okay can rotate or flip horizontal if you want to do the flipping as well but i don't want to do all this but it's up to you you can change the grouping you can group the text the images if you have more than one you can group them and you can put in the alignments different kind of alignments depending on the location you have and bring forward to backward depending on if you want to put it in layers okay if you have other text or you want to bring it below the text or above the text you can do all that from here and do different kind of picture to text or picture to pdf converting you can do all that from here so this is all about um, how to import and manage your images or pictures in wps let's try to import and manage to insert uh, to learn how to insert different kind of shapes in wps so to insert shapes is the same way from the home tab you can come to insert shapes you can come to shapes over here you can see the shapes you can insert different kind of shapes like you have the presets from lines to rectangles to basic shapes to block arrows to equation shapes or anything flow charts you can do all that from here so let's say we start with basic lines you can just select a line and come over here and start drawing okay it's very easy can start drawing and you specify the position of it also from here you can see you've just drawn an arrow if you want you can come over still to insert and you can insert this shape maybe you want this rectangle you can insert a rectangle and once you select a shape you can see the shape feature over here the drawing feature you can play around with the coloration of it okay the in, in the inside color okay and the fill or the fill color you can change it over here and change it to any color of your choice and the outline color as well you can play around with it you can change it to any color and you can play around with the thickness of the width okay you can see right now it's at one pit uh one point you can come to three points or you can come to 4.5 point and you can see it is increasing accordingly with the page numbering with the border um, sizing okay so you can do multiple things like the eye eyedropper if you want to have a particular color from somewhere inserted into this you can use the eyedropper feature okay so for example right now you can come to the fill color you can see eyedropper so where do you want assuming i want this yellow color inside this as the fill color so i can come to the yellow color anywhere i can see this is the yellow color i can just select it and the inside or the the border becomes yellow automatic if i want the inside to be yellow also i can come to the fill color come to eyedropper and then select the yellow portion of it or the red portion just this one and just click and everything becomes red so that's how easy and fantastic it is you can use the format painter or shape effects also you can add all these shape effect the glowing the reflections the shadow and all that and you can play around with the alignments uh, different kind of alignments of the shapes okay and you can specify the position as well if you have grouping you can select multiple shapes and group them you can select with just uh, the whole of a shift key in mac and you can group them accordingly you can group just like so and when you want to move them you can now move them together okay so let me show you you can just select and you can now move the two of them together because they are grouped if you want to ungroup also you can just select and you can come to the grouping and say on group and you can see it's now on grouped and you can move uh, individually the shapes okay you can play around with the position also bring forward or backward or you can wrap it around the text okay square or in line with text just like the default that we've explained in shapes in images that it comes in line with text you can put it behind text or in front of text if you want to move it across text without uh, playing, uh to tempering with the text so just like this one you can see it's now in front of text that's why we're able to move it across without having uh, any effect on the text 
so this is the basically how to insert any any shape okay you can insert anything and play around with its features from here you can insert text box also within the shape that you've uh, added okay so vertical text box horizontal text box you can just insert inside okay inside the shape that you've created and you can start writing your document accordingly and you can arrange it to fit in the content within within that particular uh, shape so you can see very nicely you can insert and do virtually anything so from insert you can insert anything anything at all any shape of your choice you can come over and just insert it directly you can select this and you can see you can draw it very very easily and you can always come back here select anyone and you can just insert it and play around with the features you can have the quick access toolbar also to change the the borders the shape fill and the shape uh, uh, outline you can i can you can do all that and the shape style different kind of style you can see different kind of styling from here you can just go ahead and play around with it so it's very easy and fantastic to play around with shapes and image so i think this does it for this class on how to insert images and shapes in wps office suite in our next class, we're going to look at how to insert and deal with hyperlinks within WPS Office Suite. So until next time, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Bye.